I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a teapot for Mother's Day. I take one finger in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a flat oval. I come over on the left and I draw a slightly curved line down. I come on the right, I draw a slightly curved line down. Come back to the left, draw another slightly curved line over and connect. Starting on the left side, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down. Come on the right hand side, draw a straight diagonal down. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a slightly curved line up, over, connect. And now we're going to mimic that line again. On the left side, slightly curved line, up, over, and connect. Starting on the left, I draw a curved line in. Starting on the right, I draw another curved line in. Come back to the left and draw a big curved line down, over, up, and connect. I come right down here at the bottom and I'm going to draw slightly curved line, up, over, connect, and I'm going to draw it again slightly curved line, up, over, and connect. I come on the right hand side and I'm going to draw a big curved line out, in, connect, and now I'm going to draw it again inside, big curved line out, in, connect. I come on the left hand side and I'm going to draw right about here another flat oval, and on the right hand side I draw a curved line in, connect, and on the left hand side I draw a curved line down, in, connect. Okay, right here on the inside I'm going to put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a baby circle. Starting on the up part I draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, curve line connect. I come right next to it and I put a dot and from that dot I draw a curve line up, curve line in, in, curve line up, down, connect. And then I come over here on the right and I put a dot, draw another baby circle, and now draw a curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, keep going, connect. Okay. Now this section might be a little bit different for everybody. Don't worry. It's fine. So right about here I draw a curve line down, and then I draw a curve line up, connect. Right from this middle space I draw a curve line down, connect, curve line down, connect. And right here from this space I draw a curve line up, curve line up, connect. Now I come starting on, the, on this section here, I draw a curve line out, in, connect. I draw a curve line up, down, connect. I draw another curve line up, down, connect. I draw a little curve line up, down, connect. And I draw another curve line up, down, connect connect. Okay. Starting right about here, but this also can be different on everybody because we all draw differently. I draw a slightly wavy line up and then I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And I'm going to draw a curve line, little curve lines all the way down. One more curve line, little curve lines all the way down connect. Okay. If you have room, you can add some little baby circles, fill in the space. If you don't have room, because we all draw differently, don't worry about it. But if you do, you can add some little baby circles. Okay. Let's see how we're going to color this in. 
Okay, I said this teapot was for Mother's Day, but you could really use it for any day. I'm going to start off with pink, and I'm going to do this section, this section, this section, all pink. You'll do a better job than me. This section, pink, and down here, this very bottom section, pink. Now my next color I'm going to use is yellow. So I'm going to use this color, yellow, this section, yellow, this section, yellow, and this section down here, yellow also. Now you can use different color combinations. These are just the ones that I chose. Since I have my yellow out, I'm going to do this center, yellow, this center, yellow. Okay? Next, I'm going to take... I found two different colors of green, so I'm going to use my dark green for the stem. So that's the stem, this is another stem, and this is another stem. Each one of these spaces I'm using dark green, but then I have a light green that I'm going to come in and do the leaves. So these little sections right here I do light green. So you get two tones of green, okay? Now I'm going to take blue and do my little curved lines. This is just for decoration. All of these I just did regular blue and like I said you can choose your own colors. These are just the ones I'm choosing for right now. I take my light green again and I did all of my baby circles light green. Give it that spring look. And then finally I did my flowers. I did red violet, red, and yellow orange. These also can all be whatever colors you want. And you'll do a way better job coloring than I am. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Whoops, I forgot the background. I just take my yellow crayon and do my stripes in the background just to finish it off. All the way across. You don't have to do this step, obviously, because I forgot it, but if you want to, it just finishes off your paper. Okay, now let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my teapot all colored in. It could be used for Mother's Day or it could be used for any day. Okay, bye-bye.